Hey, y'all. Bree Seely here. Welcome back to another episode of Big Goal Energy. Today's question is so good that I'm like, oh, I could make like 50 episodes about this one question. This came through my Instagram DMs. So just a reminder, if you have a question that you would like covered on Big Goal Energy, feel free to email it, info at breeseely.com. You can find me, Bree Seely, on Instagram or hop over to Big Goal Energy now on Instagram. Feel free to shoot us any questions you have, we will turn them into podcast episodes. This question said, if you had to start everything from zero today, what would you do the same and what would you do differently? I can tell you've got big goal energy. Are you ready to turn your wildest dreams into your everyday reality? You are in the right place. Welcome to Big Goal Energy, the podcast that helps you turn your audacious and delusional dreams into your everyday life. We know that you don't settle for the ordinary, that you have dreams which others may deem unrealistic. But here, we help you defy reality and bring those dreams to life. Each episode of Big Goal Energy empowers you with knowledge, inspiration, and mentorship to conquer your most unrealistic goals. From transparent roundtable conversations to short-form episodes, you'll hear the experiences of women who have defied reality as well as learn practical tips and strategies to fuel your journey. Join us by subscribing to Big Goal Energy, and together we'll turn your audacious dreams into remarkable achievements. Like I mentioned, this could probably be a 10-hour episode. I'm going to try to condense it down into a short episode for you, and then I might make one of these a month. Okay, so let's talk about what would I do the same. I would do my resiliency the same. What I see with a lot of entrepreneurs is they quit far too early. They try one thing, they don't get any response, and then they never try anything again. They put themselves out there once. They have one conversation. One family member says to them, what do you think you're doing? This is ridiculous. So I would not change my resiliency. There have been so many moments in my journey over the last 17 years that feasibly, theoretically, I should have quit. I should have walked away. I should have said, this doesn't make sense. I cannot keep doing this. And yet I kept going. One of those instances, I was in the back of an Uber. It was the day that my Today Show segment went live on national television at 25 cents in my bank account. The obvious decision would have been to go out and get a job. I didn't do that. December 2015, I was nine months into having closed my fashion business. I was out of money. I had used all of my retirement money to start my new business and couldn't pay my rent. January 1st, couldn't pay my rent. That time I did actually try to go get a job and was told that I was unemployable because I'm too ambitious. In that moment, I had no choice but to be resilient. Which, if I may add one more thing that I would not change, is my faith, my spirituality, and my relationship with the universe. Because when I can't see the path, I know that the universe has my back. I know that I'm being taken care of. I have the faith to know that I'm not alone and that things are going to work out for me in the end. So those are the two things that I would do the same, my resilience and my faith. Pardon this quick interruption. One of the biggest challenges ambitious entrepreneurs face is closing the gap between where they are and their big, big goal. I've created a resource for you that will help you navigate the journey more easily. Defy Reality, the female entrepreneur's guide to achieving her audaciously ambitious goals, will guide you through a process to 110% claim the inevitability of your big delusional goal, banish your doubts, and identify the exact steps you need to take to defy reality. Visit breeseely.com slash free to get immediate access to this tool that will help you stop wasting your time so you can start defying reality. And now, back to your episode. What would I do differently? This feels like a can of worms. I would also like to say at the same time, would I actually do any of these things differently because they've gotten me to the point that I am now? Eh, I mean, there's some lessons I wish I would have learned a little more quickly. And 
I'll just give you two of them right now. I would say the first one is, I wish that I would have found my people and my crew way sooner. What I've learned about a lot of the people that are in the top of their industries is that they are surrounded by and help each other out. I wish that I would have found that crew of people way sooner in my business and also just prioritized making relationships with those people. Also going hand in hand with that, I wish that I wouldn't have focused so much energy on the people that weren't my people. I remember I got invited to this conference in Los Angeles when I lived there. I think it must have been 2016, maybe 2017. And it was free. So I was like, what's the worst that can happen? I'll go. It's just my time. Time is very valuable. And I was standing in this room filled with, I don't know, 100, 150 people or whatever. And the guy on stage was like, we're going to get into state. They turned on some like, I don't know, heavy metal, like Nickelback something, something. I don't really know. Everyone in the room starts like, jumping up and down and like blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden there's this point in the song where everyone's supposed to go. And I am literally standing there looking around being like, this does not get me into state. Do you know what gets me into state? Turning inwards. Do you know what gets me into state? Is like activating my inner power, my core, my motivation, my inspiration, my vision. That gets me into state. I don't need all of this fancy like out here stuff. If it's external triggers getting you into state, they are always temporary. And I just remember looking around being like, Was, is there something wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? What's wrong with these people? I spent a lot of time trying to al almost conform myself or put myself around people that weren't my people. And I wish that I would have found my people sooner. In fact, I will say, so 17 years into entrepreneurship, I think that I have just found my crew. As Alicia Bear would say, the black sheep people People, the diehard loyalist people that will support their people no matter what and go out of their way to make sure we all succeed. Those are my people. And I wish that I would have done a little bit more to find them sooner because I feel like in a crew of 30 people like that, we're not only building each other up, we're giving resources and opportunities to each other in the same way that the people at the top are doing, but their club is closed. So find your people, find the right people, bring them around you, nurture those relationships and do what you can to help each other out because this is not a zero sum game. There are not winners and losers in entrepreneurship. There are only winners that help other people win. And to keep this episode short as promised, what is one other thing that I wish that I would have done differently in my journey? And I just did another episode about this. I wish that I would have embraced the idea of walking before running a little bit more in my journey. As an ambitious woman with big, 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 big goals, I of course want to close the gap between where I am and where my goals are in an instant. I want to be there right now. And even though I wear a bracelet on my wrist every day that says enjoy the journey, I still always try to fast forward my timing to be at my destination sooner than is necessary. I wish that I would have had a little more compassion and a little more presence during my journey to appreciate the walking stages so that I could actually run sooner. I feel like not doing this has actually delayed my running stage in my business by way more years than it could have if I had just walked when I needed to walk and learned how to run along the way. I want to say just a quick thank you to the person that submitted this question. What a great question. I totally would not have thought about doing an episode on this. There may be a part two, part three, part four to this episode just because, I, like I said, there is a can of worms that I could go in hard on this question about. So make sure that you are following Big Goal Energy. I'm Bree Seeley, the Entrepreneur Coach. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. If it resonated with you, please, please, please leave a rating and a review. It will help us get this podcast to more individuals like you who need support on their entrepreneurial journey. If you have a question, don't forget, you can always email us or DM me, info at breeseeley.com. And if you know someone who would really resonate with hearing this episode today, please feel free to share it with them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for Big Gold Energy. I will see you in the next episode.
Thank you for joining us on this episode of Big Goal Energy. We trust that it fueled your ambition and made you feel seen. We are a community of ambitious female entrepreneurs like you. Come join us in the Big Goal Energy community by visiting breeseely.com slash community. In the meantime, send your questions for us to cover in the episodes to info at breeseely.com. Together, we'll turn your audacious dreams into remarkable achievements. Cheers to defying reality. See you on the next episode.